Today is the last day of American Heart Month, and we're ending it with a story about a new technology called Heart in a Box. Yeah, some surgeons are calling it, quote, the biggest advancement in heart transplants in half a century. NBC News medical fellow Dr. Akshay Sayal shows us how it works, and we want to let you know we're about to show portions of a heart surgery that might be difficult to watch. John Baggio was dying. His only hope, a heart transplant. Without one, his doctors at Northwestern Medicine only gave him weeks to months to live. He was barely able to walk across the room. He was short of breath, even lying in bed. Other organs were starting to fail as well. John became one of the nearly 3,500 patients on the heart transplant list, with wait times that can last up to six months. But doctors at Northwestern are at the forefront of a cutting-edge innovation that might be able to save John's life. It's called Transmedics Organ Care System Heart, also known as Heart in a Box. It keeps a donor heart beating outside a body for up to 12 hours by giving the heart warm blood and nutrients. The heart in the box device is the biggest advancement in heart transplantation since the 60s and 70s when it started. A heart transported in an old school ice cooler would typically last just four hours. That extra time means medical teams can now travel further than before to get a donor heart. Doctors at Northwestern estimate that the device can make up to 30 percent more hearts available for transplant. After five long weeks waiting in the hospital, John was in danger of losing hope to one day dance again with his wife. I can only get through half of uh, Johnny Be Good now, so I want to see if I can get through the whole song again. <laughs> Mr. Baggio, Hello. Dr. Fab, can I come in? Of course. All right. Time was running out until his doctors got a call for a donor heart that typically would have been out of reach. Thanks to Heart in a Box, it was go time. All right. And then if everything goes smoothly, we're expecting about four, six hours of surgery. So everything went really well. We've got the heart on the machine, monitoring the flow and the blood pressure, as well as the rates of the medications that the machine is giving to the heart. Everything looks quite good right now, very happy. The heart wheeled into the operating room, beating in a box. And three hours later, that same heart beating in John. Hello, Mrs. Baggio. Hi, it's Dr. Pham. How are you? We finished with a heart transplant. He, we got a great heart for him. What's the most gratifying part of all of this? I would have to say seeing uh, our patients go home, spending time with their families, enjoying their lives again. John already achieving his post-surgery dreams with a lot of heart. <laughs> Johnny, be good. Can he do the whole song? Dr. Uh, Sial here now with us. So beyond Northwestern, which is doing this remarkable work, and wow, incredible. We were all, our breath was all taken yeah, away when we saw that, you know. Who else is doing this? Where else is it going to be available? Yeah, so there's about 29 uh, places across the country who are offering this heart in the box. And for those out there who are on the heart transplant waiting list wondering, you know, can, can I get access to this? Yeah. I'll tell you what John did. And him, he and his wife actually saw a news article about this, and they took it to his surgeons. They advocated for themselves. For those out there who are on the list, bring it up with your doctors. Ask if this is something we are offering at the facility, because it does extend that radius. It does make more hearts available for transplant, hoping you, getting you off the waiting list sooner. It's truly remarkable to see. Thank you so much, Dr. Akshay Sayal, for bringing us that story. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.